I've learned a lot, huh? Remember how scared I was on the first video? I was like, I don't know what I just did. I can't believe I just bought this thing. I I, I don't know what to do. I was nervous and scared because it's a big purchase. And I really didn't talk it over to a, a, a lot of people. Um, no one knew. I didn't even know I was going to buy this thing when I went and saw it. I did not even know. I just did it. So, uh, but I am very, I'm very, I'm happy to have it. What do you think? What do you think about the cottage? I like it. You like it? What do you like about it? Um, you don't have to go to people's house and side people's house so you can sleep in it. Speak yeah. a little, speak a little bit louder so they can hear you. Wow. Uh -huh. um, Just speak up. Just sit up and speak out. Ooh. Say it with your um, You can like sleep wherever you want. I can sleep wherever I want. Yeah, like you can go places and stay there. Yeah, and stay there. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and I get to see you guys more often. I mean, when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you wish this had, or us to be able to do in it? You know, in the future. Um. Um, the RV bigger. A bigger? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty small. It's pretty tight, you guys. The Class B is pretty, it's pretty narrow. I mean, it's like a very long van that if you're not too tall, maybe 6'1", six, six may, maybe 6'2", you can get away with, uh, you know, walking through. And you can't be too wide either because it's just, it's, a, it's, it's just a, it's just a van, a very long van. So... And when you have little kids, um, you know, and they, they kids want to bounce around, they want to move around, they want to get on this, get on that. So yeah, it's pretty tight. Yeah, so I then that's why I was saying that when I get the opportunity, I wouldn't mind getting a um, a class C, you know. So then um, the kids can join me, and even other people, other adults, because I have I have girlfriends that are like, oh, let's do a. Thelma Louise without the killing <laughs> and let's take a trip and pick me up and and all this so you know so but I'm like I hear you guys but this thing really is I it doesn't have enough room for me and and when I was taking Nala places I was like oh my gosh no that's because I make sure Nala has everything too so so yeah I'm so extra with me and with her and I was like I really don't have the room I mean we can go somewhere for a day trip but uh sleeping is tight especially i mean because i have all these bi bi these pillows i have like even right here this this is like storage right here so you know what i'm saying so stuff right there look at nala nala where you at there she is she's laying right there so <laughs> but yeah so yeah i have you know, it's it's pretty doggone tight. And then, and even when I stay in it, it's like it doesn't, to look for one thing, I got to tear the whole thing apart and put everything out to, to find what I'm looking for. I had to make uh, uh, adjustments uh, with my expectations because of the way the quality is of the of the RVs these days. I'm here in the last eight to ten years. The quality has been sliding downward uh, for I guess across the board for many of the uh, manufacturers for whatever reason. And the pandemic made it even worse. Shortage of people and people getting sick. You know, so staff high turnover, uh, this and that, and then people not having those skill sets. And the demand for people like realizing, look, I want a vacation. I can't go overseas. I can't go abroad right now. Well, I don't want to go on a plane right now. Or I don't want to do this. I don't want to stay in hotels or whatever the case is. They're like, okay, well, let's get an RV. Let's go here to campsites and camping grounds. And let's go visit our grandkids without getting on a plane or whatever the case. People have a number of reasons of why they decided they want uh, a recreational vehicle and you know the demand just skyrocketed but what's amazing is when i go to uh or go past dealerships 
you see a lot of class A's out there. You see a handful of teardrops. And you see a good fair number of class C's, but you just don't see that many class B's. And class B's are very expensive, but this is a very, it's the, for me even, and they, the prices drove up. I was saying that on the last live, well, I didn't say this part, but three years ago, this same class B was darn near half the price. They they jacked these prices up, you know, so, but it's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? I still, you know what I mean? I got it. I'm enjoying it. I can't cry over what I couldn't, I could have gotten three years ago. Three years ago, my head wasn't in this, you know, so, um, but yeah, but even now, fast forward, I bought this 22 uh, I bought it in 21 and it's a 2022 I looked at the 2023 Thor Toleros they are $42,000 more than what I spent on this one can y'all believe that that freaked me out I was like and I don't know what I didn't even compare the specs to see uh, what were the differences the 2022s that they still have on a lot from the sites that I had seen, I bought buying from, uh, they, the the 2022s were still going for the same price, manufacturer price. Now, how much they went down when you sit in their their office? Uh, I doubt if they went down too much because the demand is so high. But, but yeah, so that just floored me. I was like, I, I wouldn't have, if I had to pay that kind of money, I wouldn't have been in been in uh, in this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't even know how I'm doing it with this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Other than I keep reminding myself that it's been such a uh, a, a great um, way to still be in connection with my family and friends. You know, because I have the freedom to be able to just get in this bad boy, pack it up, and then take off. I I take great value in it because I do feel safer in it because I, I could be back here. And if I don't like what I'm hearing or seeing, I can jump right up out and jump right to the front, start that bad boy off and take it off, take off. I had to remind myself, Steph, you would feel more comfortable in something like this. I just needed one, just something one that I could fit in my driveway and not have to store it. So this actually fit all so many check marks. Boom, 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 boom. It, regarding learning about my van if you're talking about learning about the rv um looking back very terrified and i was like how am i going to remember all this stuff but i had to live in it i had to start using it driving it you know what i mean and not be, you know not be afraid of it and then that's when i said okay that's how you do that that's how you do this you know um um, finding out what is loose or what's going to break or what, what broke off, you know, so I had to not be afraid of it and get involved. And, and then I was like, okay, I changed my generator oil myself. I have a video on that. Uh, so proud. I was so happy. And what did it cost me? 20 some dollars with the oil and then the, the use of the uh, facility. And so, so yeah. When I did that, I'm telling you, that took me next level. When I did that, when I changed my own generator oil, in my mind, I had arrived. Now I felt like, I'm, I don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm a mechanic. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that right there showed me, Steph, you can, you'll be able to do a good number of this here maintenance stuff yourself. You getting tired, boo? A little bit. You ready? You and Nala ready to go? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's ready to go. <laughs> She's gonna go in her crate. <laughs>